Hello, and welcome to the Manchester Crane Survey 2020. I'm Mikey. And I'm Jenny, and we're part of a 30-strong planning and development team at Deloitte Real Estate here in Manchester. We're here to give you a brief overview of this year's report. What better place to start our journey than Cutting Room Square in Ancoats, one of Manchester's finest and most exciting neighbourhoods. So what are the key headlines from this year? 2019 broadly sustained record-breaking levels of development in the city. The construction boom, which started in earnest in 2014, began to level out. Residential development, which kick-started regeneration here, still remains the biggest driver of activity in Manchester and Salford, with 43 of the 77 development sites devoted to residential activity. In total, 3,619 residential units were delivered to market, the highest since 2006, and the pipeline is still running at a very high level. Much of the activity has and continues to be led by the residential market, but by no means all of it. Across the different sectors of development, more completed during 2019 compared to any other crane survey year, and delivery is set to rise over the next few years. For the second consecutive year, we have over 2 million square foot of office development under construction, with over 400,000 square foot delivered in 2019. New occupiers have boosted the market, with pre-lets primarily driven by a strong TMT sector. When the offices currently under construction are all complete by, say, the end of 2021, it will deliver 15,500 new jobs to the regional centre. And this will add up to 570 million gross value to the economy and 309 million in wages each year. Good numbers. New residents and workers within the city continue to support new retail and leisure ventures. Currently around 400,000 square foot of ground floor commercial space is under construction. And as consumers continue to favour experiences over goods, we're likely to see further growth and diversity in Manchester's food and drink scene. Visitors to Manchester are also a crucial part of the city's growth, as the hotel sector continues to demonstrate the breadth of the visitor economy. The number of hotel rooms under construction increased by 25% year on year, demonstrating a remarkable level of growth. Student housing is also part of the mix. The towers at River Street and Artisan Heights will offer 1,400 new student beds to the city and will further add to Manchester's skyline. New accommodation will allow students to be better placed on campus and will reduce student numbers taking residence in build-to-rent schemes. These students will support the 1.2 million square foot of education and research floor space being delivered within the corridor, which includes City Labs and developments at Manchester Science Park. All in all, it's been another amazing year for Manchester's construction and development scene. So check out Deloitte's Manchester Crane Survey 2020 for some more insight.